So the third most important dietary guideline is the importance of fiber. It's very important that you should consume foods which are very rich in fiber like green leafy vegetables, raw vegetable salads and fruits. They are very rich in fiber. So fiber and peach padarthalu and kuda antaru. So generally apple kani orange kani what whenever we eat such fruits apple entity eval rep pesticides are ostune ani sa skin thesestuna the red color skin on the apple and even uh, for orange the white sections the thin membranes are the open jc they are eating only the pulp inside the orange so when you remove the white sections of orange or the red skin of apple what you are removing is the fiber so fiber is very important okay so fiber helps you in easy bowel movements that's very good for your overall health so always consume good amount of fiber rich foods and we do lunch or dinner chase it up to me to dolls samba rift in it up to ensure that we are going to green leafy vegetables dal gani a samba lo gani we add this call in the quantity it is going to improve the nutrient rich value because it's going to add fiber for the food green leafy vegetables and the akura loo papillo me rad chess kundi the nutritional value increase out to be something like spinach star like palakura papu gani tota kura papu gani thin te the nutritional value eku ga out to be because of the presence of fiber at the same time it is very rich in antioxidants so dean wala make b vitamins and all the nutrients are present so generally intlo manam we just make plain dals plain dals eput chayoddu పప్పులు ఏదైనా ఆకుకూరలు వేసుకుంటే దాని న్యూట్రిషనల్ వాల్యూ ఇంక్రీజ్ అవుతుంది సో టుడే ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు టెల్ యూ ఆన్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫైబర్ సో డోంట్ మిస్ అవుట్ ఆన్ ఫైబర్ కన్జ్యూమ్ అట్లీస్ట్ టూ టు త్రీ ఫ్రూట్స్ పర్ డే ఫ్రూట్ జ్యూస్ కంటే ఫ్రూట్స్ తీసుకుంటే దట్ ఈస్ మచ్ మోర్ బెటర్ బికాస్ యూ గెట్ ద ఫైబర్ మనం ఫ్రూట్ జ్యూస్ తాగేటప్పుడు వీ రిమూవ్ ద స్కిన్ అండ్ వీ యాడ్ షుగర్ టు ఇట్ సో షుగర్ యాడ్ చేస్తే మళ్ళీ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఫ్యాట్ ఇన్ సైడ్ అవర్ బాడీ so better avoid fruit juices and consume something like a whole fruit along with a good amount of vegetables thank you so good morning so today i'm going to give you the fourth important dietary guideline is use only 3 to 4 teaspoons of cooking oil per day so when i'm daily morning till night how much amount of cooking oil are we adding in our diet matters the most to you cooking oils are all vegetable oils but in turn we have a wide variety of vegetable oils like olive oil canola oil rice bran oil sunflower oil safflower oil mustard oil groundnut oil these are all different types of vegetable oils ival rep manak heart healthy oils and ostuna and no oils and vegetable oils so all these vegetable oils they contain essential fatty acids essential fatty acids ante good fats anamata mana body ki avasaramaina manchi fats vegetable oils lo untayi but we shouldn't consume that in excess it should only be per day we should only take 3 to 4 teaspoons of oil in cooking per day and according to world health organization the latest research states that ee anni vegetable oils kante rice bran oil is considered as the best oil because it contains a perfect ratio of polyunsaturated fatty acids the polyunsaturated fatty acids are it's nothing but essential fatty acids and inko important factor entante every vegetable oil lo konni essential fatty acids maatrame untayi something called as n6 and n3 that is pufa and mufa ratio the konni limited amounts untai so we have to get all the essential fatty acids in our body so manam anni vegetable oils okate sar vaadlem kabatti it's very important to have combination of oils every 10 days ki you have to keep changing your vegetable oils for example first 10 days mere olive oil vaadte next 10 days use something like rice bran oil so when we are using combination of oils in our cooking pattern we we'll, we are going to get all the sorts of essential fatty acids inside our body so this is a very important dietary guideline to remember but it's very important to limit the intake of oil content per day ensure that you are taking only 3 to 4 teaspoons of oil in your cooking per day thank you